video here of a recent purchase. This is the Waysafe um, trailer hitch, hitch ball. And um, this was purchased from e-trailer. It took a while to get to me. It was $239. Um, tried to cancel the order last minute uh, before they shipped it, but apparently couldn't do so. Uh, the reason I was trying to cancel it was because I found it on Amazon for the same exact price with uh, prime shipping. But um, apparently I, I couldn't cancel in time. So uh, they shipped it out. I received it. Um, I bought from eTrailer before. I don't remember it taking so long to get to me, but it was about a week or so. Anyway, uh, couldn't use it for the weekend, so I had to wait for it and we'll be able to use it this weekend. So I'm going to unbox this. Uh, the coins you see there are hiding my address. Um, and we will take a look at all the components that are in it. If uh, you get wind noise, that's because I'm actually out at the bay. And the reason I'm here is because if you can see those sailboats, my son's actually on one of those sailing. And uh, so in the meantime, I thought I'd do this video while I'm sitting here waiting for it. So here we go. Let's unbox this sucker. All right, as we unbox it, the first thing you're going to see is instructions. Um, it's fairly simple. There's just a couple major components. There's the uh, part that goes into your hitch. There's the part that slides up and down so you can adjust the height and where the ball would fit in. And this comes with two balls. It comes with the two inch and it comes with the two and five sixteenths. Uh, there is another one and seven eighth ball that you can purchase, but that is additional. It doesn't come in the package. Okay. And uh, so let's take a look at what's inside. So there's the instructions, which who needs those? This is the locking pin that goes in, holds the hitch. It does come with a key, two keys. Um, unfortunately, they do not make a set that you can key your own, um, which if you watch one of my other videos, you'll see that the lock pin I have for the hitch, which I'll show you in a minute, um, you can actually key to your car so you don't have to carry an extra key. <laughs> okay, we've got a pin. And then this is the way safe component. Now these parts are actually pretty heavy here. Um, i pull it right away. It looks like it's been used before apparently. Huh. Well, there's something to be said about e-trailer right there. It's a used component. Well, hopefully it works okay. And there is a weight measure on there. So you can see how much tongue weight your uh, trailer that you're towing actually is putting on the um, on the back. And 10 to 15% is the recommended. So if you're towing 6,000 pounds, you want to have 600 to 900 pounds tongue weight. All right. Let's see what else we have. Okay, we got one of the balls here. This is rated to, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's 21,000 pounds. That's right, 21,000 pounds. It's two and five sixteenths. You might be wondering, how can a trailer hitch hold 21,000 pounds? Well, believe it or not, this Ford F-350 is rated to be able to hold 21,000 pounds on the hitch. Well, tow 21,000 pounds, and the tongue weight it can handle is 2,200. And this is a two-inch ball, and the two-inch ball is rated to 8,000 pounds. Most of them you'll see is rated to 7,000, so that's pretty good. And this is the part, oh, which is heavy. Pardon the camera, you know, this one-handed. This is the uh, part that actually fits into your hitch. This is a three inch um, receiver portion. So it goes into my three inch receiver. And this is the adjustable. Now what I purchased here is a six inch drop. And if I am not mistaken, every one of these is about an inch apart, which gives you your six inch drop, okay? If, if you see, it'll span three pins when, you're, when you actually hook it up. And so if you go six, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. That's your six inch drop or six inch rise, depending on which way you, you put this on your trailer hitch. All right, so let's hook this sucker up and let's see how it goes. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the two and five sixteenths. That's what I use most of the time. And you're gonna line it up with the holes that's here. So you'll see there's a hole right there and a hole on the other side. This is gonna line straight up like that with those holes. And that is so that you can put this pin through all the way. Now this pin just sits there. It doesn't lock in place. It just slides in and out. Now what, what happens is once you put it on the other piece, it can't come out because it, it would hit the other piece. Okay. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is put, put it on this piece. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first put that into my receiver and then attach the rest. Okay, here we are looking at my receiver. And this is what I was talking about. This is my key for my Ford. You can just put it in, turn. Of course you need two hands to make this happen. So I gotta hold it and turn it. So uh, anyway, it use, does use the existing key, but I'm gonna need two hands to actually hold it and turn it. All right, so we did uh, get that off. Real easy to do, and you can see it uses my existing Ford key. You can see a video on this lock. Um, I ended up having to buy two because it didn't key the first time, but uh, and that's probably because of my mistake, not because of the lock. But uh, it's pretty neat. All right, we're gonna take out our pin here. All right, and we're gonna put this sucker, which is not light at all. Line up the holes on the side. Put our pin through. And we're just going to lock that back on. Okay, see it's nice and sturdy here. And that's it, it's locked on there. Alright, so now we have this portion here. And we're going to attach this. Now quite simply what you're gonna do and since I'm doing this one-handed I gotta kind of uh, figure out how I'm doing this as I do it but uh, you're gonna slide this in so I can do it one-handed and we are gonna put it on the trailer. Let's see where we want it. Let's say we're gonna put it here. Let's use my knee to support it. Let's find that match. And mind you, this is a lot easier to do with two hands than one. <laughs> okay, that took a little bit more effort than I thought. Um, it's a really tight tolerance fit uh, to get that in there. Um, and once you put it all the way in, it will auto lock on you. And you just use this key. You can turn it. And so one thing I'm learning as I do this for the first time is you're gonna probably want to put some machine oil on this. It is there's, it doesn't slide very easily. Um, you have to use a lot of effort to get it to slide in and out. But once you put it in, it does lock on you unless you go all the way to unlock it. All right. So that is locked. It's not coming off. You have a gauge here. Um, for weight and once I hook up a trailer which I don't have here in a at the where I'm at I'll show you how the weight on this uh, works and that's basically it and you can see the ball doesn't come off I mean there's a little bit of rattle but that's typical of a hitch and uh, it's all secured and on there really well 
So one last thing to note is I was actually hoping that I could take this off, flip it around and that way store it in this position behind the um, hitch on the bottom two holes, but it's not possible to do that. The flare, this flares out more than this metal piece. So you can't actually flip it, you cannot flip it around to store it that way. That would have been a nice plus um, uh, for them to make and have the ability to do that. Kind of gets rid of, you know, six inches off the back of your truck if you're, if you're not towing something and want to just store it. But most likely what I'll do is just take it off and, and store it in the truck itself. I may just leave this portion um, just because it's already locked on and it's not going to go anywhere. Anyway, that's my review of this. Uh, so far it looks great. I will add um, an update to this video which shows the weight. So if uh, stay tuned for that, it might be coming up right now. All right, thanks. And uh, if you like, uh, subscribe um, and get alerts to future videos on my Ford F350 and any enhancements and other things that I do. Thanks, take care. One last thing I do want to add is um, this was used apparently, the one I bought from E-Trailer. Um, kind of disappointed, but I'm not going to go through the effort of sending it back, especially since they're going to charge me, you know, probably $30 for shipping and another 10-20% for restocking fee or whatever they're going to charge. But uh, had I bought this on Amazon, I would probably have gotten a replacement so it's nice and fresh, but you know. It's a truck, it's meant to be used, so it's okay. We'll live with it. I did find the same exact thing on Amazon, like I said earlier. Same exact price, 239 with prime shipping. I will put a link in my description for that. And uh, if you do decide to buy it, you know, if you use the link, it does probably earn me a couple bucks, even though I've never made any money using Amazon. I've only spent money on Amazon. So that's about it, thank you. I'm gonna attach up our dump trailer and uh, see how this way all works uh, way safe and here you can see it's uh, like 50 pounds so it's kind of reading a little bit even though it's not nothing on it yet so we're going to lower this down see how much weight we get and uh, see where we're at because i'm on an incline i've estimated the height based on my old truck and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so we've attached the hitch. You can see it's raised up, um, or trailer rather. And now we can see what the ball says, or the weight says. And here you can see it's right at about 400 pounds. This trailer uh, is practically empty and weighs about 3,000, 3,500 unladen. Um, and so that puts us at a, a good tongue weight of about 10 to 15 percent. 10 percent would be about 300. Uh, 15 would be 450. So we're right at about 400, and uh, looks pretty good. So that's what it looks like. Nice and easy way to tell if you're uh, loaded up safely. So we got the trailer here hooked up. And we've just loaded up 7,000 pounds of base rock. See the scale up there, it says 7,000. And we got the scale here looking good at 1,200. So that's what we're looking at right now. 1,200 pounds on the hitch, 7,000 in the trailer, 2,500 or so for that. So we're well in the 10 to 15% range. And that's it. That's the uh, waist scale hitch at work. Gotta love it.